Welcome, and tonight we're going to make a pork chop bake. It consists of um, cornbread and wheat bread, five cubes. This is a cornbread that we buy. It comes in a little loaf. It's a honey cornbread. And then I've got a seven grain bread here. I've got a half of a white onion, two sticks of celery. I got some salt. I got some fresh ground pepper. I've got four cups of water here and some ground sage and one stick of butter. So we're going to put the butter into the pot. I'm going to try to aim you over there. I got everything on my counter. Just move the water. There we go. Okay, we're going to put the butter into the pot, one stick of butter, and we're going to saute the vegetables with the seasoning. I'm going to start out with about a teaspoon of sage. So we're going to add one teaspoon of ground sage into the pot. We're going to add the onion and the celery. I'm going to get my wooden spoon and stir this around. So that sage gets all in my veggies. You want to cook these until they're almost done. Some fresh ground pepper, about a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to saute these. And I'll bring you back when I'm ready to go to the next step. And this is a cornbread sage stuffing. Welcome back. My celery and onion are almost done, and this is how it looks in the pot. Right like that. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of the water, like two cups. Then I'm going to turn around and add my bread. And then if I need more water, I've got it available. I'm going to add half of the cornbread and half of the, the seven grain bread and stir that in and then I'm going to add some more I don't want it too soupy and you kind of want to give your stuffing a little bit of a cook to it you want to coat all them vegetables in that bread into that liquid but you don't want a soupy, soupy stuffing. So I'm going to add the rest of it. And I don't need no more liquid. I'm going to turn my burner off. The two cups was just, just what I needed. So I'm going to let this sit, and when I'm ready to go to the next step, I will give you guys a yell. Welcome back. The stuffing's all ready. I had to add two more pieces of the bread, and that's how it looks. I've got the pork chops all washed. I've got one can of cream and mushroom soup. I got my oven set to 350, and I'm getting a baking dish. Okay, what I want to do is I want to spray it with the pan. I want to spray it with the pan and I want to get the pork chops in. So 
So I might have to do two pans because there's two huge quick drops. So I'm going to have to get another one out. Excuse my arm again. Welcome back. I, I'm sorry about that. I got the cream of mushroom soup. It's going into the pot because I like to cook it a little bit to make it like a gravy. And I'm going to get just a light this amount of water right up to my fingertip. I like to use the um, spatula to mix it. You just want to stir all the lumps out. And while that's coming up, I'm going to show you how to assemble the pork chops. I got both the pans right here. Slide them down. We're going to take and we're going to top the pork chops with the stuffing. Gonna make sure I have enough for each one. There we go. Now we're going to stir this and we're going to pour it over the pork chops. We're going to bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes. And there we go. All the lumps are out. As you can tell, it's nice and smooth. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to get me a spoon. All right, aim it down. I'm going to take some of that cream of mushroom soup and we're just going to pour it over the pork chop. And if you have a little bit of cheddar cheese or any type of cheese, you can just grate that and put that over the top. I'm not going to use cheese tonight. So there's them. And this makes a lot of food, especially if you've got huge pork chops like I did. And there we go, into the oven, 350, for about 30 to 40 minutes until they're done. And I will bring you back. I'm back, and the timer's just ready to go off, so I figured I'd bring you back and uncover. And I put foil on these, but this is how they look. Baked stuff pork chops. And I hope you enjoyed the recipe. And let me know what you think. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye now.